Long bow and mobilization of the radius ulna. Start off BSI scene safety. We have a stable patient complaining of pain, swelling, and deformity in the left radius ulna. My partner is going to come and expose the area and stabilize above and below the site of the fracture. We're going to check for distal pulse motor sensory, so we're going to check a radial pulse. Wiggle your fingers for me. And which finger am I touching? Um, okay, so pulse motor sensory is intact. We're now going to take our padded board splint. We have the hard side and the soft side. The soft side is going to be in contact with the patient's skin. We're going to have my partner go ahead and hold that in place as well. We're going to take a piece of roller gauze to hold the hand to position of function. We're now going to take our cravats and we're going to secure the arm to the board. We're going to leave them nice and wide as they come. We're going to tie one at the top of the arm, and we're going to make we're going to tie surgeon's knots to make the knot extra secure. Okay, tying on the board, nice and snug. The next tie is going to be below the side of the injury, but above the wrist. And again, we're tying a surgeon's knot over here as well. Okay. The next tie is going to be over the hand. We're first going to come over the four fingers, excluding the thumb. And then as we come around the hand again, we're going to catch the thumb and then tie a certain it's not on the board. Okay. Now we're going to tie a sling and a swath for the patient. So given the injury, we're going to tie a full arm or a basket sling. So we're gonna open up our triangle bandage or cravat all the way. We're going to drape it across the patient's chest. There we go. With the point of the triangle or the corner of the triangle being by the injured elbow. We're now going to bend the patient's arm across their chest, keeping it slightly elevated. And we're going to bring up the sling, making sure we've caught the arm. We're going to take some 4x4 four four bandages to pad the back of the neck. We're going to tie off our sling. Okay. We're going to tie a knot by the elbow to help secure the elbow and prevent it from sliding out the back. Okay. So that's tied off. Last thing we're going to do with the triangle bandages, we're going to tie a swath across the chest to secure the arm to the chest to prevent it from moving as we transport the patient. So, we're going to come across the humerus of the injured side. We're going to catch the board, making sure not to come directly over the site of the injury. And we're going to tie on the uninjured side of the body. Once we've secured that in place, we're going to reassess pulse motor and sensory. So radial pulse, wiggle your fingers. And which finger am I touching? The index finger. Okay. 